Hello there, welcome to Genesis Models. My name is Bobby Waldron, and in this video, we're going to be having a basic deckling tutorial. Right, so what are the tools we use? Well, first off, I like to use about a you know a nice standard size one brush, and I like to use the same brush every single time for deckling. This is because we don't want to kind of get any kind of contamination between, say, I don't know, painting with acrylics or enamels, and then you come along and use this brush for deckling, um, and it can do. It's just um, a whole contamination kind of thing. So just keep. I, I personally like to keep one brush to deckling, um, and and. That brush only. Next thing is as well some tweezers, really nice for holding decals, hands free sort of thing, um, just makes things a little bit easier. Um, a blade, we like to do some cutting with the blade. Um, when it comes to decals as well, make sure that you put a nice new number 11 blade on. You don't want a dull blade when it comes to decals because if you've got a dull blade, it's just going to drag the decal. Up. You need it to be nice and sharp so you can nicely cut into it. Uh, another thing is as well, a nice little uh, hand drill here with a normal um, sewing needle in there which just helps you to kind of like um, pin little holes here and there and manoeuvre in. That's a nice good little tool. And just here we have a little bowl of water. Any bowl will do that just holds water basically and you want the water to be um, a nice warm water, not boiling and not cold, right? Next thing is as well, the most common deckling solutions out there is micro salt and set, right? And that's by Micro Scale, Scale Industries. Uh, it's a nice American company. There are other um, deckling solutions out there, but these are the most commonly used, okay? So, to get started, what we want to do is, um, I did forget to mention, some nice scissors, anything that's kind of just nice and pointy, and you just want to cut off the decals off of um, your decal sheet. Now, when it comes to cutting the decals off, just try and bear in mind that some decals are see-through, so it's kind of good to manoeuvre the decal sheet in the light so that you can see where all the um, see-through decal film is, so that you don't cut through it accidentally um, but that's pretty straightforward so I've kind of skipped through that so what I've done is I've cut out um, one piece here let's turn this around all right so we've cut out one of our roundels and this is where your tweezers come in handy to hold um, your decal like so and what we want to do we want to start um, hydrating this with some water so what we want to do is we've got our warm water here all right just off camera Let's maybe bring you in a little bit on this. Sorry for playing a bit of cameraman. What you want to do, you've got warm water here, and what we want to do, instead of putting it um, back, putting it down um, on its back, what we want to do, we want to turn it over, because what decals like to do, they like to curl up on themselves. So when I put this in the water, it's going to want to curl up. Hopefully, as you can see, that's curling up. So by putting it face down, we're able to kind of stop it from curling up. All right, because we can kind of push it down and kind of let that soak for a couple of seconds. And then what we should be able to do is then we should be able to pull it out. And then what we want to do, we want to put it on a nice flat surface, which I do have, which I'll just put it over here for now. And let that kind of let the water soak into it so that um, it will then slide off later nicely. Um, so, what we want to do, we want to prep the surface in which we're going to put our a decal, which is going to be just here. And to do this, we like to use a product called the Micro Set. It's like the first stage of the deckling solutions. And this solution, what it's going to do, it's going to help the adhesiveness of the decal, i.e., it's going to help the decal stick a lot better. To the to the actual model, and um, what it's also going to do is it's going to soften up the decal as well. It's not going to really really soften it up to the point where you can't do anything with it, like micro sole micro set will just soften it up a bit you can still maneuver it still play around with it. Um, it just kind of gets the whole soften up process going. All right, so what we're going to do using our um, paintbrush here, we're just going to dip into our micro set, and we're just going to brush on to where it is our decal is going to go. 
which actually I always forget this but there is one crucial thing that you need to do before all this which I'll keep forgetting is to after you've done your spraying make sure that you seal your um, um, or your, your um, spray work in with a gloss coat something like future um, and you want to do about two to three coats and leave it for about 24 to 48 hours to dry there is a, a tutorial on using future um, on the Genesis Mob website under tutorials if you want to go watch that but it is very important and why it's important is the surface that we put the decal on if it goes onto a matte rough surface you it's not going to um, conform as good you're going to have things like nasty bits of silvering going on um, and it just makes things a lot harder if you have a nice smooth glossy surface it just helps the decal you know stick to the model a lot easier and you get rid of all that silvering and stuff so now that we've got our micro set on the area in which we're going to place our decal what we can do we can get our tweezers pick up our decal and then what we want to do um, using the other side over the other side we already have um, a roundel over there using the other side as a bit of a guide we want to get it exactly the same so let's bring you in now close as we can and what we're going to do now we're going to place this decal on and just slide it off with our finger and I'm literally I'm not even moving my finger I'm just literally holding my finger on here and then I'm pulling with the tweezers our bit of um, decal paper away so then what we want to do now is we want to make sure this is all nicely lined up the same as the other side and we can do this with our finger and that's looking about right but then what we can do just to kind of um, make sure if we want to do anything kind of like very sort of micro moving this is where we can use the um, the pin the needle and we can just move very delicately with the needle we don't need to in this case because this is actually nicely in place but what you want to do you want to not dig in the needle you just want to lightly touch the surface and just move it so that you're not damaging the decal you're just lightly moving the decal and it should nicely move on this surface of water well um, micro set that's on there if it, the surface gets dry and you're finding you can't move the decal you need a bit more water um, on the surface so you can just dip into some water and brush it on and you'll find it'll start moving a bit nicely again now what we want to do is we want to get the whole softening up process and adhesive process getting started. So what we can do, get in our micro set, we then want to paint on the micro set on top of our decal. Right? And this is where we want to leave this for about two minutes to just nicely soak in. So let's uh, come back in about two minutes. Now that's that time to soak into the decal, it's slightly softened it up a bit and you can just almost tell there's a little bit of wrinkling just going on. I don't think you can pick it up on camera, maybe you can, there's a little bit of wrinkling going on and it's, it's not, well it's not really wrinkling, it's kind of just um, starting to have like a bit of an orange peel sort of look to it. Um, and what this is doing now, this is starting to stick to the model um, and it's starting to soften up which allows us, because what we want to do, we want to soften it up which expands the decal so that when it dries it sucks down onto all, into all our recesses, recess panel lines, recess rivets and makes it look sprayed on. So now that is now um, had enough time to soak in that micro set, what we want to do is we want to get our cotton wool bud, we then want to start rolling across the decal right just like so we're not dragging right we're not dragging like that because we don't want to pull up the decal or move the decal we're just rolling it with our fingers just like so and what this is doing is we're rolling out any moisture any air that's underneath the decal and by rolling out the air we're getting rid of silver in rolling out the water we're making it go stick more and better to the actual model right 
and after we've rolled it for a bit you'll start to feel how it's starting to really stick down so then you can probably start doing what I'm doing now and actually start dragging but what this is done as I don't know if you can tell let's um, see if we can tell on camera hopefully you might be able to see I think you can just see there if I rotate it in the light that actually that decal is starting to see I think you might be able to see where the re two recessed panel lines are here you might be able to see how the decal's just starting to sink down into the recessed panel line which is what you want now while this is still um, a bit nice and wet it's really good to jump in straight away with micro sole now this is the stronger solution right this is the one where if we paint this on top now right it really starts to soften up the decal to the point where it can really sort of wrinkle it up and you get lots and lots of wrinkles some decals react more than others Right, some can really decal up, I mean sorry, really wrinkle up to the point where it can almost wrinkle up on itself and um, almost ruin the decals. These are nice decals, they just wrinkle up a little bit to just nicely start to conform to any kind of raised areas, nooks, crannies, recesses and all that kind of stuff. Now what you want to do with this micro sole now is just do what I've just done apply that maybe two or three times right until uh, it looks nice and conformed so what you want to do is you want to leave that now to dry until it looks dry although it might feel a little bit sort of wet as long as it looks dry and you've got no major wrinkles in there apply another coat and keep doing that until it basically looks like it's really sunk into the um, recessed panel lines and the recessed rivets and once that's done we can come back and I'll show you the next step I just wanted to quickly show you this decal now because as you can hopefully see it's looking rather wrinkly and bumpy and that is absolutely fine there's no problems going on here there's no need to panic that's exactly what you want it to do you want it to start doing all that wrinkling and that's the decal expanding so that when it shrinks back it's going to shrink back into the recessed panel lines and any um, any raised areas or anything like that. Now it is very important that at this stage where it's all wrinkly and everything to not touch it, not to put your finger on it, not to really kind of mess with it because you can do also, I mean if we touch this now we, we it would just kind of drag up and it would wrinkle up on itself and crease on itself and it would just be neon impossible to get that decal right again so you really don't want to touch anything now until that starts to dry and the wrinkles go away and then keep applying the coat. So I just wanted to quickly turn the camera on and just show you that bit of wrinkling going on there. Hopefully as you can see there now that after like a two coats of micro sole um, and that's been left to dry you can see how the um, the decal has nicely conformed into those uh, recessed panel lines and even the recessed rivets a bit which is really nice and exactly what you want to do but we can enhance that even further and better that even further by coming in with a blade and what we're going to do if I could just rotate this on camera a bit is we're just going to get our blade using the weight of the blade not digging into it so we scratch our paintwork and rip decals up we're just going to lightly nicely go into our recess panel line just like so and the second one up here okay and what um, we can also do is if we've got any bubbles going on anywhere we can just cut into them or any kind of silvering we can just cut into them it's just light cuts so that you're just penetrating the decal not your actual paintwork then after doing that coming along with your micro um, sole again and give this another coat you probably would only need to do one more coat but you can always come along with a second coat or even a third or however many it takes to get the decal to nicely conform to the model and any uh, recessed panel lines or anything like that right um, you can 
if you want you can use the actual paintbrush itself because this decal has had quite a you know it's dried a bit and it's conformed a bit even though we've put micro sol on it's kind of stiffened up enough for us to actually aggravate say the um, recess panel line just like this we're just ex exaggerating it just a bit and it just pushes down the recess panel line just a bit just to kind of get it to conform that bit more nicer so let's leave that drop to dry now so there you go, hopefully as you can see our decal has now completely and utterly nicely conformed to all those recessed panel lines and rivets um, and it's starting to look, it's looking pretty kind of like sprayed on um, but what's going to happen is we're going to seal this in with two gloss coats two, well two to three gloss coats and those two to three gloss coats will blend this decal in even more to make it look even more like it's been sprayed on but before we do that one last thing before this tutorial ends get an anti-static cloth make it a bit moist and what you want to do is just clean up around the decal right because all that um, decaling solution that we've been using leaves behind a bit of a sticky substance that can interfere with putting your gloss coats down uh, uh, and you can kind of have some nasty kind of effects with washes and stuff so uh, just clean it up just to get rid of all that residue left over by micro sol and set and that should be all good uh, for putting the gloss coats on so there you go that is a nice basic tutorial on um, decaling there's a lot more to it with uh, kind of using different decaling solutions from different manufacturers um, with different um, kind of decaling films have different effects with different all sorts of different kind of um, decaling solutions so um, just kind of bear that in mind but this is kind of like the basic sort of gist of putting decals down professionally um, so if you want to see more um, on decaling you know there's lots of step-by-step -step video builds and um, rapid video builds on the Genesis models website where you know we do get out things like micro set we do use stuff like Tamiya extra thin cement and all these things to um, go about it differently to pulling decals on so uh, until the next tutorial I hope you've enjoyed this and my name's Bobby Waldron <laughs>